yo 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 what's up vikings fans it's me your boy yogi purple rain 24 7. be sure to hit that like button subscribe and share like crazy we are going to talk about seven power moves that the vikings need to make to get to the super bowl this year this year and i got a little mock after to follow those seven power moves gonna hit you up with that right after this i know you're scared yeah i do too if i were you i know you're scared i do too if i were you you better bring your eight Yo, 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 I'm back. So we came off a good victory Monday night football versus the 49ers. And yeah, your boy Yogi's drinking the purple Kool-Aid. So I'm going to talk about what we need to do. Seven power moves to get to the Super Bowl this year. And with that, if I was Quasi, Adolfo Mensa, these are the seven moves I would make. And pay attention to the order because it kind of plays in how the moves have to make to make this happen. But if I was Quasi, I wanted to get aggressive because right now, I don't know how you guys feel, but he's kind of on the hot seat, kind of the puppet master, whatever you want to call it. But if he wants to get at a Super Bowl in this two two year window, Hopefully this year, while we still have Kirk Cousins, this is what he's got to do. Move number one. I'm going to trade Ezra Cleveland and a 2024 second to the 49ers to get their first round pick. I want to get their first round pick because you'll see why. Not move number two. Move number two. Our CB room. Lacking depth. Lacking that dog. Byron Murphy. I was expecting more out of him. Not really seeing it. But we need to trade with the Broncos. We'll trade the 2020, our 2020 for first round pick to the Broncos for Patrick Satane and a 2024 fourth. All right. And I'm telling you, these seven moves, they're going to be aggressive moves. I did them on the mock simulator. Didn't have to force any trades. So it all works out. Move number three. That's right. We're going to trade Madison and a 2025 second for Patrick Queen from the Ravens, linebacker, and a 2024 third. That reason um we'd have probably have to get rid of no uh, we prob- uh no my calculations i think everything balances out but we need him in the linebacker room for rotation starting whatever with uh picks and pace so move number three let's go get patrick queen from the ravens for a 2025 second and Madison for Patrick Queen and a 2024 third. Move number four. We got rid of Madison. So let's go get Derrick Henry. 
We're going to trade two fifths in 2024 and KJ Osborne. And we're going to get Derrick Henry and a 2025 fifth for that move. Move number five. I, I know some people out there think uh, seen as the bus. Some people think we should let them develop more. But I'm talking, let's get to the Super Bowl now, this year, not next year. Well, the pieces that I'm doing, we, we'd have the window next year as well. But move number five is going to be Lewis Seen. Uh, so that third that we got uh, we're from uh, Patrick Queen trade, we're going to use that third and a 2025 third to go get Chase Young and a 2024 four. Move number six. I don't care. We're going to trade Booth to the Saints. The highest I could get was a fifth round pick. But hey, we got certain now. Booth, go see what you could do with the Saints. And our final move. Some depth at defensive line. Rotational player. We need to go sign free agent Akeem Hicks. I've talked about him before. I've had videos about him before. I don't expect him to come in and be a every down player. But once he comes in, learns the system, and towards the end of the year, when those wins need need to happen, and for the playoff push and the push to the Super Bowl, we need a guy like Akeem Hicks to be in the building. Now, with these seven moves, I ain't the money man. So, our accountant, I forget his name, he's going to have to do, or the Vikings are going to have to do whatever they need to do to make the money work. Because <laughs> we want this to happen this year while we ha still have Cousins. Because he's playing lights out right now. So with that being said, the quarterback future of the Vikings is bright. So of the four, I have Drake May, Michael Penix, Bo Nix, and J.J. McCarthy on my little pitcher. I mean, if we go on this run, Drake May, Drake May, Will most likely be out the window. But Bo Nix, Michael Penix, and J.J. McCarthy are three quarterbacks that I could see us getting with that 30th or the 49ers pick that we traded back up into the first to get. And that, that pick is going to be used on a quarterback no matter what. So I'm going to bring up this mock I did. So here's the mock I did, no force trade. And this is what, imagine all those players. And this is the players we have next year in the, in the draft. So you can see on the top, I traded, um, we got 49ers pick 30 and pick 130. We traded Cleveland and our second for that to happen. And with that pick at 30, I grabbed J.J. McCarthy. The reason why I went with J.J. McCarthy, I feel him, whatever you want to say, I just, something about him playing under Harbaugh gives me goosebumps. Just because Harbaugh's 
been in the the league. He's a NFL. He's been an NFL head coach, and I like that. So we don't have a second. We don't have a third. But that's because we made some moves. We got Derrick Henry, Sertain, and Patrick Queen. So we go all the way down to the fourth. We're going to grab, I went back-to-back guards. That's right. Our offensive line is playing lights out right now. Reisner was a great signing. But let's get some guards for the future. So I picked 108. I grabbed Javion Cohen from Miami. And pick 114, I grabbed Christian Mahogany from Boston College. All right. So then you can see there was another trade. Chase Young and the round four pick for Lewis Seen and two-thirds. With that other fourth round pick, I'm surprised he was still on there. But it, even if he is, let's go ahead and grab Jordan Travis as well. Now, this is this this mock is in the instance that we do not extend Kirk Cousins. So we would have Jaron Hall, JJ McCarthy, and Jordan Travis in that quarterback room fighting it out to be the starter. And the other two as backups or whatever. And it'd be a great quarterback room. So whoever balls out, balls out. If they do extend Cousins, I'd probably use that pick for a different player. But this is under the assumption that we do not extend Kirk Cousins. So you see the other trade, Sertain, and a fourth, and they received our first round pick. Then another fourth round pick, I grabbed tight end Jaheim Bell from Florida State. And with uh, my two fifth round picks, Schlappman, I believe, is going to be a free agent. We'll still have Bradbury. So I grabbed Zach Frazier, center from West Virginia. And I grabbed another safety, Lathan Ransom from Ohio State. Then I got the other trades at the bottom. We received a fifth for Andrew Booth Jr. And Derrick Henry for K.J. Osborne and two fifths. So, yeah. I think with those moves, we want to win now. We got the window. I think those key pieces, adding Sertain, Derrick Henry, Chase Young, Patrick Queen, and Akeem Hicks, would put us over the level, getting JJ back. JJ, Ja, Powell, wide receiver one, wide receiver two, wide receiver three. Think about it. TJ Hawkinson, our O line is playing good. Derrick Henry, that'd be one hell of an offense. Now let's move over to the defensive side of the ball. You got Sertain, Byron Murphy, Hitman, and Cam Bynum, who has been playing lights out. Linebackers. Pace. Hicks. I was on, see, at first, I was on the trade Hicks train. 
but now I'm on the keep Hicks right where he's at train. His leadership in the locker room can't beat it right now. And with Patrick Queen in the mix, blitzing off the edge, I could dig it. Then we got Chase Young on one side, Daniil Hunter on the other side. With the rotation of Bullard, Phillips, and uh, Hicks playing some nose. Come on now. A little action from Roy. Hey, drop it down in the comments. Which one of those players would you want? Do you want them all? Do you want to be aggressive and win the Super Bowl now? Because I do. Skull Vikings, like always, be for real. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And share this shit. Skull, all the way to the bowl. Thanks for watching. I know you're scared. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. If I were you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I know you're scared. Yeah. I do too. Yeah.